Africa. Let's go to Washington. Mohammed Fraser Rahim is executive director for North America for the counter-radicalization organization Quilliam International. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Thank you. Uh, first off, uh, let's talk about the timing uh, of it. Uh, Al-Baghdadi in that video does not mention uh, the Christchurch attacks. Um, he mentions Sri Lanka, but in an audio portion, so it was probably recorded afterwards. Yes, I think it was done afterwards, and, you know, many of us, there'll probably be a deeper analysis that, uh, in terms of trying to figure out what's taking place. Um, you can imagine intelligence services trying to find out and do sort of a time analysis on this. Um, so for, uh, you know, for us collectively, um, you know, he doesn't necessarily mention Christchurch, but I think that what this shows is a proof of life and that Baghdadi himself is alive, though he looks certainly a bit weathered down. Um, in light of the territorial loss in both Syria and Iraq. So with the young people that you work with, um, is this a sign of strength or weakness, this video? Well, as I was mentioning, at a minimum, it's a proof of life. We know that Osama bin Laden back in 1998, after the Kenyan bombing, Nairobi bombing attack, he came out and gave a, 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 a video uh, a, a depiction of himself, so he showed his followers he was around Abu Musab al Zawqawi in 2006. So we see a similar pattern by other extremists. Um, so Baghdadi, Baghdadi follows that trend. I think for us, uh, working in the pathway of de-radicalization and rehabilitation, um, this is certainly um, an indication that the organizations around, I mean, our efforts is trying to make sure that individuals are not even going down the pathway in the first place, so the preventative efforts. So um, I, I think the message, particularly for Baghdadi and for those who would be interested or susceptible, is that uh, the ISIS brand is around, and I think that's why he was mentioning places like Burkina Faso, places like Mali, where we know just yesterday there was an attack in Burkina Faso and trying to make sure that this brand is still alive. It doesn't take many people, obviously, to, uh, to have a, a, a very determined, radical organization. Uh, what's the answer when a video like this comes out? What do you do? So, you know, again, the, these videos will come out, and unfortunately, in the age of uh, technology, certainly the ability to, to gather the international attention, this is going to take place. So for us, you know, how can we look at preventative efforts in terms of making sure that young people, um, individuals who are women, children, um, mm -hmm. how can we inoculate against these efforts in the first place? So that's certainly of interest to us. Um, extremist organizations like al-Qaeda, ISIS, are certainly going to be around. Unfortunately, um, I think what we can do is try to do our best effort to put up measures in place um, in a whole civil society approach. Governments can't do them by themselves, so it requires religious communities, uh, civil society organizations, nonprofit organizations such as ours, as just being one to help counter those efforts. And Mohammed, as you said at the outset, investigators must be pouring over this. How much of a risk was it re releasing this video? Well, this is the, you know, very, the, the difficulty itself. I mean, the, with the online interconnectivity throughout, uh, throughout the world, I mean, these videos are going to be released. Um, I worked in U.S. intelligence for over a decade, and so, you know, I would have been probably one of those analysts trying to figure out what's actually taking place. How do we put, in, put together a puzzle piece to find out how can we prevent this, uh, you know, what is the, is there a sign, is this an indication of something to come? I mean, we know just in next week, the beginning of Ramadan will begin, and we know extremist groups have used this as an occasion to rally individuals in this heightened spiritual or religious fervor. So um, it's something that certainly we're mindful of. It's something that we're scrubbing, making sure on a regular basis that we are uh, aware of these efforts, but certainly trying to make sure that we are working in the preventative space as well. Mohammed Fraser Rahim of Quilliam International, thank you for speaking with us from Washington.